Hello everyone. I thought today would be a perfect time to talk about one of my most favorite songs that comes from a band that saved my life. So today I'm going to be talking about The Great Gig in the Sky by Pink Floyd, which is a song that comes off the album The Dark Side of the Moon. The writers and producers of this song are Roger Waters, Richard Wright, and Claire Torrey, who you will hear singing on the actual song. And Roger Waters was actually a part of Pink Floyd that I saw two years ago live at the Yum Center in Louisville, which was pretty neat. So, um, while there is no real chart information about the song, um, the album remained on the United States charts for 741 weeks. That is 14 years. So, from 1973 to 1988. This is longer than any other album in history. And also, in a Rolling Stones reader poll, the Great Gig in the Sky was selected as the second greatest vocalist performance next to Bohemian Rhapsody, which is a pretty big deal if you ask me. Um, an interesting fact about this is this is the first Pink Floyd song that was to be used in a TV commercial, which is also a pretty big deal. Um, now, what I want to say about this song actually that became so interesting to me is that um, my father is very in tune with rock and roll music. Um, this is why I took this course, because I had a little background. And I was introduced to Pink Floyd when I was in middle school. And I would say that it completely changed my life. Um, it saved my life at points. Um, and what I found, I found it so interesting about The Great Gig in the Sky is that it has no lyrics, um, but it, it will move you. Um, it will move you to a point of tears and I thought that was so neat is because it, it it draws so much emotion from you without saying anything and upon doing some research um, it actually tells the story of coming to terms with death which I think is something that everyone will come to terms with one day or will fight with and that this song the great gig in the sky kind of tells that struggle of coming to terms with death. And if you listen, in the first half of the song, Claire Torrey is the woman singing. Um, and she's almost, it's a very hectic, loud scream um, as she's not ready to descend into this next chapter of life. She's not ready to die. She sounds fearful. She sounds scared. <clears throat> she sounds very panicked in her voice. Though it is beautiful, it is much more hectic. She's screaming and um, the chords are everywhere. Um, whereas in the second verse, the second half of the song, um, along with the, the, the instruments as the piano kind of starts to mellow down, um, so does her voice, so do her chords, and you can tell that she's kind of come from one end where she was very hectic to another end where she is accepting of this next chapter in life, which is death, and, um, it kind of goes with the music and you can see that she's a little bit more settled in she's calmer she's ready to take this next plight into wherever this may be um, and that's a really interesting fact that I did not know until I did research um, apparently the dark side of the moon which this album is on this actually has to deal a lot with coming to terms um, when it comes to the the era of life and death um, and and what's so neat about this is that you can make it however you want it doesn't have to apply to life and death it can apply to anything um, and that is why this is such a, a moving song for me this whole album is I think Pink Floyd is um, so ahead of their time I guess you could say that or maybe for me because you know I'm a, a millennial but um, Pink Floyd their music is absolutely moving and if you give this song a chance you will just be brought to either tears or you will have chills all over your body because it's just an amazing song and I'm glad that I got to do um, this project over this song that has moved me in more ways than one.